concerning escalate that to the doctor. And now, stir thickening. Now we switch to sterile. Okay, if those don't fit you, you don't, yeah. don't bother. I'll put it again. Have to take it out. And then sterile, of course. Oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> this side. Before you put on your sterile gloves, you want to open up your sterile field and then you'll put on your sterile gloves. Mm -hmm. I have a fat hand. No, really? Yeah, I'm sorry. I can not fit you. Have faith. Have faith. Have faith. <laughs> it's pretty hard to put on sterile gloves when somebody's watching. I think we all know that. Yeah. They don't work well, but hey, no, that's good. They should be tight like that because you want to have good dexterity. So, grab here. Touch the outer corners, okay? So don't don't do that. Mm -hmm. Just touch from the inside where it's still sterile. Okay? okay. <clears throat> Step one. Here, addition here. Click it. And then the gauze there to hold on to the tubing while you scrub the insertion like this. site. So if you take if you take this piece of gauze, because remember you're still sterile, if you want to hold on to your tubing ah, okay, while you scrub cool. this, um, and then you can move on. Because just, you know, once you break sterility. Mm -hmm. So you would just dispose of that in a non-sterile field, of course. Just is for area here. Yes, yeah, so what is this stuff? Some uh, adhesive skin barrier. So we want to make sure that we let our the chlorhexidine scrub dry first. So it'll take about 30 seconds this for it to dry. This one will place on the around the perimeter, right? Mm -hmm. This one just around right? the perimeter where your tachyderm is gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Okay. And which direction does our bio patch face? Uh, that one. Uh, 12 nope. and two. It's actually. That I learned too. And this which one. side faces up, blue or white? This blue, uh, blue one. The blue, yeah. So sometimes the sutures are a little bit too tight that you can't quite like get this. it underneath. Um, but in a perfect world, the sutures would be a little bit looser. Um, sometimes you might need to use a pair of clamps or something, but you should be able to get it up and under, underneath the catheter insertion site. What do you mean by 12 and 2? So when you're facing, so you have your catheter site, mm -hmm. in relation to the catheter, it should That's be at like 12 o'clock or 2 o'clock. Okay. Um, okay. It's just facing upwards. So okay. it's, or maybe it's 2 and 10. 10 and 2. 10, 10. 10 and 2. <laughs> That's the shirt. Yep, this is the shirt. Put it in. And at this point, if you want to, you can take the tape off of this part just for easier use. Any questions about central lines, guys? Pretty straightforward. Shirt is 
What if there's a lot of bleeding from the site? During or before, after? Um, at any point. What if you assess your patient and there's blood, a bunch of blood, the bio patch is saturated in blood? Mm -hmm. So you will press and you will notify the provider right away because that means that the uh, line has been out of, out of sight. Yeah, there might be, you know, the patient might, um, might be, might have, um, yeah high coagulation numbers, so the doctor might want to come put some kind of uh, stat seal or surgicel, put something around the site in place of the bio patch to help with the bleeding. Um, but if they didn't want to do that, then what you would do is change the dressing because the blood, even though it's the patient's own blood, it is still contaminating the dressing for whatever reason. <laughs> okay, good job.